Some senators want to amend the Motorcycle Crime Prevention Act, saying that some provisions only serve to discriminate against riders. Camille Samonte with the details. It takes half an hour before motorcycle rider Jopet Saikon can get past random checkpoints. The rider describes this as an inconvenience, especially when he is in a rush. He also wonders why only motorcycles are asked to stop at checkpoints. Malaking pagkakaiba po talaga. Eh, parehas lang din naman kami dumadaan doon sa isang daanan. Bakit kami lang yung hinaharang na mga ano, motorista kumbaga. Checkpoints are also affecting the delivery time of food chain riders. Siyempre, yung minutes din po na nawawala sa amin. Siyempre, nag-aabal lang din po kami sa oras. Nag-aabal mo ba yung customer mo na Minsan pa, minsan pa. Some riders even believe that checkpoints are being used for corruption. Minsan pa, pinipirahan pa. This is one of the reasons why some senators are proposing to amend Republic Act 11235 or the Motorcycle Crime Prevention Act. Senator Rafi Tulfu said the law does not solve the motorcycle-related crimes and only creates discrimination against riders. Ang pagkakalam ko, paparahin lamang ang isang motorista kung may probable cost. Ano yung probable cost? Walang helmet. Sira yung uh, ilaw. Discrimination po yun. Kung naghahanap ng kriminal ang ating mga Tagalog enforcement, bakit? Wala bang kriminal na doon sa kotse, sa van, sa SUV? Mas maraming kriminal doon. Senator J.V. Ejercito, the sponsor of the proposed amendment, pointed out that fines provided in the law are about 10 times higher compared to those imposed on violations committed by drivers who four-wheeled vehicles. These fines and penalties are somewhat too excessive to the point of being discriminatory again to motorcycle riders. E eh, karamihan po ng mga maliliit na motor, e eh, halos kapresyo na ng motor, kaya naitidihan po naman nila. The motorcycle crime prevention law requires license plates in the front and rear of motorcycles. But former President Rodrigo Duterte suspended the implementation of the doble placa. Eher Soto suggested that instead of requiring a bulky front plate number on motorcycles, RFID stickers containing the driver's identification should be installed instead. Hopefully with the use of uh, technology, sa paggamit po ng mga ng scanner system at magtayo ng command center ay magiging madali na pag in-scan, pag go, pag green go, lang ng go, yung pong ititigil na lang, yung pong meron pong pupula, yung pong naka-alert. One rider part list, Representative Bonifacio Bosita agrees with the proposal. Using the scanner, makikita po agad doon, carn up yung motorcycle. Hindi lamang po ito ma-address ng RFID yung crimes committed by the riders. Another hearing will be conducted in the Senate on the matter and groups opposing the amendments will be invited. For News 5, Camille Samonte, We Are One News.